The 2024 Hewison Private Wealth King Island Pro-Am returned to its regular and outstanding venues at Cape Wickham and Ocean Dunes. A host of regular contenders made the trip back to King Island, including former winners Scott Laycock, Ash Hall and defending champion Ben Bunny. On day one, Kate Wickham presented a stunning test as usual, and many couldn't resist the urge to snap a pic of the glorious scenery. This year's field was also bolstered by the addition of the reigning Australian All Abilities champion, Lachlan Wood. Competing from the same tees as his able-bodied rivals, Wood made a solid start, producing 36 stablefoot points to finish the day in a share of fifth. Ben Ford's days of competing on the PGA Tour of Australasia are behind him, but he showed he still has plenty of game, reaching six under par after 14 holes. He found trouble on the closing stretch, finishing with 38 points to sit outright third. As if the finish at Cape Wickham wasn't exciting enough, the 17th tee gave competitors a chance to sample a variety of local gin flavours, courtesy of King Island Distillery. Corowa Golf Club professional James Gordon found form at Cape Wickham and his haul of 39 points left him alone in second place. But round one belonged to veteran pro Michael Wright. Preparing to compete on this year's Champions Tour in the US, Wright was arguably the favourite heading into the event and he produced eight birdies on the day to grab the halfway lead. Rattled off a few birdies, I think it was maybe 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, had a few in a row then, which um, got me into a good position and then managed to make a couple more and um, sort of finish off the job. Six players finished the day with 36 points or more, including Vicky Euland, who was alone in fourth. Wright's leading score of 41 points was even more impressive, given it was his first trip to King Island. These courses are unbelievable. Played Ocean Dunes yesterday, had a ball there, strong win, but still had fun. And then come out here to Cape Wickham today, and oh my goodness, I've never taken so many photographs in my life. I mean, the amount of picturesque shots that there are around the course, it, I mean, that puts you in a good frame of mind as well, which helps you, you know, produce good golf shots. The stage was set for the final day at Ocean Dunes on King Island's west coast. Euland couldn't continue her form from day one and eventually finished in a share of ninth. Wood had more fortune at Ocean Dunes, compiling another round of 36 points for an admirable share of fifth in his first visit to King Island. Ford was on target early and in position to set a competitive target for his rivals to chase down but he made some costly mistakes late to finish alone in third on 74 points. The opening stretch at Ocean Dunes provided an unforgettable experience for amateurs and professionals alike, but as always, brought many unstuck, including the overnight leader. Teeing off the back nine, Wright made a hot start, playing his first nine holes in four under and looked to be on his way to a comfortable victory but he stumbled on the opening nine, giving all of his birdies back to set the clubhouse lead with 77 points. That left Gordon as the only player on course with a realistic chance to catch him. Also teeing off the back nine first, Gordon used his short game to bail himself out of trouble. Unperturbed by the many intimidating corners of the course at Ocean Dunes, Gordon moved one shot clear of right with two holes to play. When his par putt lipped out on the eighth, he knew he could still win outright with a birdie at the last. Playing into a strong headwind on the par 5 ninth, two solid blows left Gordon less than 100 metres from the flag. Some local wildlife was on hand as the event came down to the wire and Gordon rose to the occasion, his wedge spinning back within one foot of the cup. It left a mere tap in to secure victory, a memorable week not just for him, but the rest of his team from Corowa Golf Club. Ah, uh, yeah, no, it's very, um, very happy with that. It's first time down here. Um, all my mates have told me how good it was and I'm just glad it worked out. And to come away with the wins even better. Um, you don't come down here to win. Um, you come down here to have a good week with your mates and um, if you play well, that's, uh, that's a bonus.